how do you get the overall or net cell reaction for the galvanic cell? You first need to remember that there are two half reactions taking place within a galvanic cell. Remember that there's the oxidation half reaction taking place in the anode half cell, and then there's the reduction half reaction that takes place in the cathode half cell. These are called half reactions, and we need to combine them for the, them to give us the overall or net cell reaction. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we need to get the two half reactions, and we do this using table 4B, or maybe you use table 4A, but I use table 4B, then you will see that there are electrons that appear in both half reactions. We need to make sure that those electrons are balanced. In other words, they are the same. We might may have to multiply to get this correct. When they are the same, when they've been balanced, we can cancel them if necessary. And then we combine the two half reactions. So in the zinc copper example that we did in a previous video, we said that zinc was within the anode half cell, oxidation took place at the anode, and we said that the oxidation half reaction was as follows. Zinc is oxidized to form Zn2 plus ions plus two electrons. And then we said at the cathode, we have our copper and reduction takes place at the cathode. So our reduction half reaction is as follows. Our copper two plus ions accept the two electrons and they form solid copper. Now, Take note how I've lined up the arrows in my oxidation half reaction and my reduction half reaction. It just makes this a bit easier. Now to get the net cell reaction. What we do is we first check to see if the electrons are balanced. I have two electrons here and I have two electrons here. That means they're the same for the oxidation half reaction and the reduction half reaction. So no need to balance, no need to multiply out or anything like that. Then I cancel the electrons. We can cancel the electrons when the electrons are on either side of the arrow. So in other words, the right hand side here and the left hand side here, you may cancel across like that. Then you write in your arrow again, everything that's on the left hand side, you rewrite. So we've got zinc, which is solid zinc, Cu2 plus, copper, two plus ions. Then on the right hand side of the arrow, I've got Zn2 plus, zinc ions, zinc two plus, plus copper solid copper. And this is what we refer to as the net or overall cell reaction. I want you to try and get the net or overall cell reaction for this galvanic cell, AGNI, silver, nickel. Your first step is to use the table, table 4B, to find out what is being oxidized and what is being reduced. This is something that I did in a previous video in this playlist, so check that out if you don't know how to use the table. But in this case, nickel is being oxidized, so this is the anode half cell and therefore this is the cathode half cell. Using table 4B, we know that the half reactions are as follows. Nickel is higher up on the table over here, so nickel is oxidized. We write it from right to left. So Ni, arrow Ni2+, plus, plus 2E minus, two electrons. Then you carry on down, reading down, 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 down the table. We get to our silver half reaction, and that means that silver is reduced. So Ag plus, plus E minus gives me AG. I'm trying to line up my arrows over here, but I'm running a little bit out of space, but you can see what I mean. So this would be my reduction half reaction, reduction half reaction. And you can see that I've written it from left to right. So this stuff first, then the arrow, and then AG. Remember your half reactions are only written with a single arrow, never a double arrow. Then we want to make sure that we write our net reaction. But do you see in this case, I've got two electrons over here, and over here, I only have one electron. So what we need to do first, before we cancel them out and rewrite the final equation, is we need to balance the electrons. So I need to make this one become two. So I need to times it by two. But if I times this by two, I need to times everything by two. So essentially, I'm going to now have the following. Ag, two Ag plus, plus two E minus, gives me two Ag. We can basically ignore this version of the half reaction now. And we take a look at the new one that I've balanced. And now I can write the net reaction. So I write my arrow. Now I may cancel out my electrons. Then what is left over on the left-hand side? So I've got nickel over here, solid nickel. And then from the second half reaction, I've got Ag plus or two Ag plus rather, because I've balanced it. I need to use the balanced version. Then I've got Ni2 plus plus, that's aqueous, plus 2Ag, which is solid. 
Can you see that I don't need to multiply the first reaction by anything because this is already two electrons? I multiply this one here by two because I'm trying to make the electrons match the two electrons of the first reaction. And there we go. There's my net, my overall cell reaction. Let's do another one. So this one, I'm calling it the aluminium copper cell. So your first step is you have to go to the table and figure out what is being oxidized and what is being reduced. So if you look at table 4B, you can find the aluminium half reaction over here. And if you carry on looking down the table, you'll find the copper half reaction over here. I've mentioned this in the previous video, but there are multiple copper reactions that take place on the table. But we use this one, the 0, 0,341, most of the time because it is copper 2 plus ions that would be reduced to copper ions, just like that. This one over here won't work because it's copper 2 plus being reduced to copper plus. But we can't end up with copper plus. We need to end up with solid copper like that so those are the two correct ones so when in doubt use the 0, 0,34 copper as you can see aluminium is higher up on the table so you start on the top right aluminium is higher up on the right hand side so this one is oxidized which means that this aluminium would then be the anode anox okay but in this case I just care about what would the oxidation half reaction look like the oxidation half reaction remember we read it from right to left so you write al then you do an arrow, okay? Then you write all of this stuff down. So when I say right to left, I mean you write down everything that's on the right-hand side first and then everything that is on the left-hand side. And you always write your half reactions with a single arrow. Then we've got our reduction half reaction, which is the one that is further down on the table. So it would be this one over here. And you write that normally from left to right. So we're going to go Cu2 plus plus 2E minus gives me Cu. Now we need to write the net reaction, but my electrons are very unbalanced over here. I've got three and I've got two. So in this case, you need to basically find the lowest common multiple, the lowest common, it's almost like in maths where you find the LCD, the lowest common multiple, the smallest number that two and three can both divide into, and that's six. So to make this six electrons, I have to times it by two. So we're going to times everything by two in this reaction. To make this 6, I have to times it by 3. So we're going to times everything by 3 in this reaction. What that means is I basically have two new, not new, two balanced half reactions. Here's my new oxidation half reaction, all nice and balanced. And then here is my new reduction half reaction, all balanced. I'm just rewriting it because I find that if you start scratching out and scribbling on your originals, it just looks messy. And sometimes the people who mark your tests don't actually know what you're writing and you can lose unnecessary marks. So you see I've lined up my arrows. I'm just double checking that I've done that correctly. Then I cancel my electrons and then I rewrite everything on the left hand side. I rewrite on the left hand side like that. So that and that. And then everything on the right hand side, I rewrite on the right hand side. Now, you may include the phases over here, but a lot of the times in marking, we often just ignore the phases. We care more about, did you balance the electrons? Did you cancel them? And did you rewrite everything on the left and right hand side properly? In the next lesson, I will show you how to work out the EMF of the galvanic cell.